Hello everyone, name is Luke Ripa and welcome to a new year of DC movies. In theory, that is. Here are my thoughts on The Flash, directed by Andy Muschietti. First, a little bit on the movie's background involving both the titular character and the guy who plays it. So, it's crazy to think about it, but this is the very first solo Flash movie released in theaters. We had various cartoon iterations, we had various TV shows, but we never ever got a theatrical live action version of this character until it showed up first in Batman v Superman. And again, this, The Flash, marks the very first solo movie for the character. Regarding the allegations and very controversial stories uh, surrounding Ezra Miller, I just want to say that after watching the movie, I understood why they didn't recast. Simply, they couldn't. Ezra is in 95% of the movie. Therefore, a recast would have meant to make basically a new movie. Now, with all that out of the way, we can finally talk about the review. The Flash sees Barry Allen discovering he can travel through time, and he decides to take advantage of this ability to save his mom. However, by doing that, he creates a world with no metahumans and no supermen on the verge to be invaded by General Zod. Barry ultimately needs to team up with a younger self and a very different Bruce Wayne to try and save the world. Flash is indeed fun, but I'm afraid it doesn't go beyond that. The story is conceptually inspired by the Flashpoint storyline from the comics, but aside from the idea of Barry messing up the timeline and creating a whole new reality, shares very little with that. The world that Barry creates is in fact very shallow. The variations are kept to a minimum, Sure, the absence of Superman and other mental humans is indeed impactful narratively, but this reality doesn't feel all that much different. It's the same Gotham, the same Barry, of course different personalities, but still as Ezra Miller, same Zod, same Zod sidekicks, there's just a Barton vs Batman and Supergirl instead of Superman. I mean, it's disappointing in a way. I wasn't in need for outlandish cameos, which there are Kinda, more on that later. But at least I wanted that the reality Barry creates felt different. For example, even if you take out the Illuminati, the word Doctor Strange ends up in Multiversal Madness feels completely different than his reality. In general, yes, The Flash suffers when compared to multiverse comic book movies released in recent years. Don't get me wrong, the story focusing on Barry first and foremost is nice. After all, the movie is called The Flash. It's just that when you bring up the multiverse concept, you set up expectations that I don't think were met here. On the positive, the cast does a fantastic job, from Michael Keaton to Ben Affleck, from the very little Jeremy Irons does to Sasha Kalle. Not Michael Shannon, but that's not his fault. General Zod here is nothing but a plot device. He has one meaningful dialogue and that's it. Of course, I can't not speak about Ezra Miller. While a lot of your viewers want giving credit due to everything surrounding him, I'm going to complain honest. He kills it. He is simply superb and holds the whole narrative without any issues. He showcases an impressive range which makes everything surrounding him even more detestable. Andy Muschietti also very solidly directs the whole thing. Every dramatic moment hits the spot, the action is always clear while remaining frenetic, and by the way that opening sequence in Gotham is brilliant, which showcases Ben Affleck's Batman in line with the Batman in the Batman animated series which is a big win, according to me at least. The atmosphere is really good too. Again, doesn't change from word to word, but still contributes to making the movie fun. The narrative pace too is very fitting overall. However, everything is brought down by very, very, very bad CG. Like, I can't really put into words how bad it is, but at certain points it really mines the suspension of disbelief. In the very first scene, there are babies, and when they are turned into CGI, they look like the baby from Son of the Mask. Also, during the movie, there is a physical representation of time not too dissimilar from what we saw in Interstellar, but here it is completely CG and, well, it's really bad. There are some saving grace moments, like one of the Atlantic cameos I said before. It's really well done and couldn't be done otherwise. But then there's another cameo, and it's infuriating because not only it's completely CG without the need to be so, but also very, very bad in that. Generally speaking, every time they try to recreate a human character in CG, it can be nightmare inducing. Muschietti said that the CG is very often bad on purpose because Flash, when running fast, sees the world in a distorted way. Should we buy it? Honestly, I don't know. Overall, the movie ain't bad. Heck, the fans of the Snyderverse are gonna rejoice at the fact uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League is the canonical version of that infamous project. There's plenty of reference to those events in the flesh. However, the shortcomings, the CG, and the overhype have their impact. I give The Flash a score of 7 out of 10. I expected more, not gonna lie. Did you watch The Flash? Are you gonna watch it? Let me know down in the comments. Be sure to follow Wikos on all social media. My name is Luke Ripa and I'll see you next time.